Well, hello, fellow aviation enthusiasts. Um, I'm here again working on the aircraft, uh, the Excalibur Aircraft's tail section, and um, I made a mistake. Confession. Um, it's not. It's not like beyond fixing, but what? Um, and, and I might not even do much with it to be honest with you. It's just cosmetic. But what I failed to do was make sure I covered the proper side of the horizontal stabilizer I was working on. So this one is the right side of the airplane when you're sitting in it, the, the, you know, the rear right. So I'll show you here in a second what I did, but you want to cover the bottom first, then cover the top because it makes sense, right? When you cover the bottom, you're going to put, and I'll flip the camera around here so you can see this. So when you cover the bottom, you want to wrap the fabric, the Superflight fabric, really tight around the um, aluminum, uh, you know, the frame. So that, that's good, but when you cover the bottom, then you're going to flip it over and cover the top, and the top is going to come down underneath the bottom, and it's going to look like this. <laughs> so, you know, um, this one obviously looks better than the last one I did, at least I think it does, um, where my, my uh, darts that I cut look a little bit cleaner. But you can still see where I drew the line. This is where the finishing fabric is going to go because this happens to be the top, you know, and I just made a mistake. I flipped it around and uh, this is the top. So the finishing fabric is going to go where these lines are and it covers it in some cases like this side. It'll look kind of cleaner and nicer because it'll run right over that. This side for the most part, but you can see there's places where it's going to jump out here and it won't look as good. And, you know, I could take this off and do it again. But I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And then right over here is where it probably looks the worst. So, you know, people will see it. Um, and then around here, you're going to see the darts and stuff like that. Um, you know, is it is it that big of a deal? It's cosmetic. But I want the airplane to look nice. But anyway, that's that's just be careful when you're covering these things. Make sure that you're covering the bottom first and then covering the top. And I think I just flipped it upside down when I went to the garage to do the work yesterday and I, I just missed it. So anyway, not a big deal, but I just wanted to share that so that you can cover the right thing. And again, you could take it off and redo it if you want to, um, if there's extra fabric at the end. And I may do that, we'll see. Hey guys, quick video just to show you that I'm doing the finishing tape, the seam tape on the elevators. So uh, I'm, I've got the last elevator to do. I've already covered it with fabric, just doing the seam tapes and then the rudder seam tapes on the rudder and I am done with the tail kit. Super excited. And then all I have left is to install the hinges and the elevator horns and the rudder horn, which the rudder horn probably won't be installed until I get the fuselage uh, kit, the airframe kit. So anyway, here it is. All right, again, you can see how I drew the uh, lines with a pencil, sharp pencil. Um, I've already poked the holes. This is where the elevator horn's gonna go, right like that. And this, can you guess, is this the top side? Or the underside? What do you think? Well, it is the top side. You can tell it looks nicer, right? And actually, I'm pretty proud of myself because my um, my uh, fabric work's gotten better. So you can see I, I use less fabric on this side, um, enough to where it, for the most part, the seam tape, the finishing tape will cover that. Um, this right here, that's just the um, the SF-104, the Superflight logo, or the, the designation, so that's just kind of bleeding through a little bit. You can see where it got a little bit of uh, black or whatever that is, Sharpie. But yeah, so anyway, elevator horn there, um, and then the hinges, you know, poke the holes for that right here. And just use a hot soldering iron, like um, in Tom's fabric video, it tells you to do that. So anyway, bottom side, top side, and it does such, it makes such a difference if you just lay it out and you say, okay, this is gonna be my, my, my top and then underneath the bottom and then you cover the bottom first, like I mentioned in the last video. And then, you know, then when you roll it around, it looks really nice. And um, here's the, here's the uh, right elevator and it looks like that and it looks pretty good. There's the seam tape on it. And um, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I'm still trying to figure out if the better way to do it is to cut the um, darts or just simply iron it as you go, like in the super flight video, but I just did the darts because it's just easier. And um, I, I, I didn't care. It was just, a, you can see a little bit of the lines in it. But anyway, it's coming out good. Just one more piece to go and I'm done with my tail kit. I'm excited.